Now, note that Dave does a huge transfer here. He has lots of experience. Um, there are many people, though, who would need a block underneath their feet to give them a little extra lift when lifting so high. You can also see just from how his chair is positioned that he is not using brakes like many individuals who have experience. But once again, this is not recommended while you're in rehab. Now the majority of couches are very, very low, so most people can get onto a couch without too much trouble, but be aware that getting back into your chair can be very tricky. Yeah, that's nice. You ain't moving. Get my seat belts out of the way so I don't land on them. Nothing worse than a seat belt up your top of your leg. Get myself into close proximity to my tennis chair. My bottom forward. So the convenience of the way I transfer is now I'm still on my chair, but I'm nice and close. So all it takes is a little back wheel so small. All part of the show. So now I'm in. Oh. Eric's tennis chair has no brakes, therefore he's parked it up against the fence so it's not going to roll away from him. He essentially does a nice lift over the tires from one chair to the other. He makes it look pretty simple, but um, when first learning this skill, you should definitely have somebody spot you to make sure that you land in the right spot. So Tim's moving forward in his chair so that he can get in front of the tires. He's getting his feet in a good position and he does a huge lift up and over. So just a regular chair to chair transfer. Now he's just getting his feet in the right position. Now that little piece of equipment that he's holding is actually like a a knee brace or a knee block. And he's locking it into position right in front of his knees, or actually in front of his tibia, so his shin bone. Now he's putting on a chest strap, or more appropriately, an abdominal strap. It gives a good push, and he's up to standing. Wow. That's right. Back down. Wow. 
that's it. These are your what lift you here. Yeah. What do you do? You pull up on it? Yeah, it's supposed to be like the same motion as pushing your rim. Oh, okay. It's wonderful. Yeah. So it works slick. Yeah. Pretty so quick. you can't wheel once you're up in it, but you just get to where you want to be. Right. Yeah. Stand up. Yeah. So. But I think it's better than a standing frame. Yeah. Uh, just reaching. I guess I have to put the dishes away now and working at a workbench in the garage. Of course. Yeah. yeah. All kinds of stuff. I think yeah, it puts me to work more than anything. Yeah, but yeah, with that you don't need a standing frame. No, Still no. And so I like a standing frame, you can't move anyway. So here at least you can go to where you want. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Notice Tim's putting his brakes on his chair. Then he moves his bum forward to the edge. He puts his feet off the footrest onto the ground before he lowers himself down, reaches down to the ground, leans forward to lift his bum up, and down he goes. Now to lift himself back up in the chair, you want to get your feet close to your bottom and lean really far forward. So notice he's on an angle. He puts one hand up in the chair. He leans forward and lifts, and up he goes. Now Dave is very, very experienced getting in and out of his chair on and off the ground. He does a big lift out to the side, lowers himself very gently, which is great. And he knows to lift himself back up, he wants to get his feet as close to his bottom as he can. Puts one hand on the chair, one on the ground, he leans forward and does a huge lift. Now, we teach this in rehab. We teach people to do this with the brakes on because it's more secure. But in reality, when people get out in the real world and become very comfortable with that skill, they tend to stop using the brakes because they actually find it easier to pull the wheelchair underneath their bottom as they're lifting themselves up. I'm going to get out of my chair and sit on the mat and then show how I get back into the chair. So, a little bit apprehensive about getting back into the chair while it's on the mat. It's a little bit unstable. So, I'm going to pull my chair off the mat. it this way. The height of my cushion, I have a really thick cushion, so it's just extra inches that I have to be able to lift. So I would normally, if I fall, for example, and I'm on the floor, I'd normally take my cushion off and it saves me having to be able to lift myself two to three inches higher. So at this point, Pull my knees up as much as I can so that my legs aren't kind of dragging me down. And I'm going to put my bum up on my footrest. So now I have no cushion. So that's not very good. So I would grab my cushion and then go somewhere where I can transfer.